I'll just bring you more now on the news that the UK economy grew by half a percent in the last three months of 2017. Joining us now from central London is Sarah Mahmood. She's a senior economist at the New Economics Foundation. Uh, welcome to you, Sarah. Now, this um, GDP read, it beat city expectations. But some saying, though, that we, we need to look behind that quarterly figure and recognise the fact that annual growth, uh, while it's still a decent growth rate, it is slowing down. Um, I think we really can't be fooled by what is essentially a lacklustre performance in a bird's eye view of the economy. I think the fact of the matter is we still have really deep structural problems. There's a lot of uncertainty hanging over us at the moment. And I think the experience of people in the country, um, you know, they'd look at that figure and they probably aren't feeling that growth in terms of the money in their pockets. Yeah, of course, you can't eat GDP, can you? Um, you mentioned structural problems there. I was hearing from my last guest that actually one of the big stumbling blocks for many years has been productivity with the labour force, but that seems to be getting better. Do you agree? Um, I, think, I think we've had long-term declines in productivity, but um, there's other things such as massive regional inequality. We still have a reasonably unbalanced economy and we're still quite reliant on services in the financial sector. I mean, it comes, the bottom line is, in the same period that these figures come from, um, there's a fall in real wages. So people's lived experience of the economy is, I'm sure there's many viewers at home um, who wouldn't feel like things were getting that much better. Fall in real wages, um, some might argue that that hasn't fed through into consumption, into people's spending decisions as much as it might have done. No, and the big reason why is because we've seen big increases in household debt as well. Um, in kind of recent surveys um, that the Bank of England did, um, what's worrying is that households are reporting that their financial situation, um, there's, there's more concern around finances around at the moment. Um, which is which is unsurprising, really, when you think that people are relying on debt to um, fund their consumption just because their pay packets aren't keeping up with the inflation that we're seeing at the moment. So where does the UK economy go from here, do you think? Do you share the pessimism, perhaps, of the IMF, who downgraded its view on UK economic growth prospects? I think we have huge challenges ahead, um, but that doesn't mean that we can't solve them. So a lot of the things we work on at the New Economics Foundation is really looking at the detail of how you can do things like a good industrial strategy from the bottom up that really looks at how economies function on both a local, national and international level. Um, I think there is more appetite for the government to take a more robust role in directing the economy. Um, than we've seen sort of in, in past decades, really. And that, that is a positive direction to go in. Um, but that doesn't take away from the challenges that we will be facing in the next few years. Has the whole goal of rebalancing the economy away from uh, the, the heavy service sector in the UK, makes up about 80% of the economy, is, is that goal, is that just a pipe dream? Because it just doesn't seem to happen. Um, I think what it will take is, you know, um, large amounts of investment, but also um, really listening to people who are still in the industries and sectors that we do have. Um, we do have a lot of people with a lot of skills out there in the country, and they just really need the support um, to be able to feed through into things like national level policy. Um, we've definitely seen that in our research, and I think that's the thing that makes me a bit more optimistic about there being options for us rebalancing the economy. Sarah Mahmood, good to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.